two seats. When I hop out, it dang. You can smell it on me. Handle that shit myself. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be blow drying my hair as you can see. I'm gonna be applying my products, which is my treatment spray. And this is all applied on damp hair, along with the coconut oil. This is what I'm using as substitutes for my actual products, but these worked really well with my hair. So I'm glad I used them. So first I'm gonna part it into three sections. The first section is gonna be in the bottom. I'm gonna put the blow dryer on low, and then I'm running it through my hair slowly from the roots to the ends. And then as it gets dry and dry, as you guys can see, my hair is stretching out. And this is all while the blow dryer is on low. So I'm really surprised because usually I have it on, I have it hot. So, but this is good. However, I noticed that my hair wasn't fully stretched out. So you guys are going to see at the end how long my hair is, but it's actually a couple inches longer. So yeah, I'm just running it through. You already know, regular. I wanted to show this to you guys because I feel like this is something that needs to be addressed because blow drying very thick hair is is something like that's a task. I was tired. I was sweaty after this. This was a workout for my arms. So when I'm done, I'm going to be twisting it so that it can retain the stretchingness, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be going into the second section, putting it on low again, running it through. And make sure that your hair is detangled. Yes, that's the most important thing. Please let me make sure it's detangled because when it's detangled, it's a lot easier to blow dry and stretch out, as you guys can see. Now, I'm going to be combining those two sections. And let me see what I did with them. I twisted them. Yeah, I twisted them again. Because when you just leave it, it you know, it starts to, to kind of shrink up again, you know. And another thing I want you guys to notice is how my so-called hair type changes along with that heat damage. Woo, yeah, I got heat damage because I had a leave out and I don't, I never have leave out. So my hair wasn't used to that amount of heat. My hair is not used to heat like that. So that's another thing that I have to be careful with my hair. Now I'm going to be doing the last section. This is the hardest section because it's super thick at the front of my hair as you, y'all can see like. So much hair, so much hair. That's the first side. I'm going to show you guys how the second side looks. And yes, my hair is uneven and the ends look crazy and the heat damage. But you know what? I'm going to repair it. I'm just going to like give my hair a rest. And yeah, this is how it looks. Like my hair has grown a lot during the past months, mainly because my lifestyle has changed so for the better. So. I'm just glad that my hair is growing, but it needs to grow right. So I'm gonna definitely trim it. I'm gonna definitely try and get those. Well, I can't do nothing about the heat damage, but it's nothing major, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. But um, yeah, it's so thick, my hair. It's the black castor oil because my hair was never this thick when I was younger. So yeah, but I'm really happy and I hope this was helpful for anyone who has thick hair. I used to it but yeah all right guys see you guys in my next video